Drew McIntyre and the other losers who've fallen victim to Adam Cole. The kick connects. Not too long ago, Corey brought up Adam Cole's historic debut attack on Drew McIntyre. The devastation that followed that attack was an incredible display of strategy and strength at every level. I've been ringside for hundreds of NXT broadcasts, and still, I can't recall the last time a superstar debuted during a main event, along with a powerful faction like Cole did with the Undisputed Era. executed. Up in the fireman's carry. Sidewalks. Shoulders on the back. O'Reilly pops the shoulder up. That's either sheer genius or complete stupidity, Cole. Over time, there have been various types of six-man teams that have been successful. There are family trios like the Guerreros, the Grams, the Andersons, and the Von Erics. There have been members of factions who have also produced tremendous six-man teams like the Fabulous Freebirds, the Four Horsemen, the NWO, and D-Generation X. Teamwork at its best. Inverted DDT! Lights out! He looks a bit off his game here. Ugh. Byron, you mentioned some families and groups that created incredible six-man teams. Talking more about factions. Don't forget about the likes of the Hart Foundation, Evolution, the Wyatt Family, the Shield, and the New Day. These are only some of the trios who had unbelievable matches against a variety of adversaries. We're talking about three-man teams. I need to shout out one of the baddest trios. Jeff Hardy's going for it. Twist of fate. There is no coming back from that one. Has Jeff Hardy produced an end result? Wow, he's getting manhandled here. Just go for the finisher already. I don't understand the delay. The object is to win the match, isn't it? Come on, let's go. My elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. First. As Corey continues to criticize the action in the ring, allow me to take the other side of the argument. The last thing any superstar wants to do is go for the finisher prematurely. No good can come of that. Yeah, you really want to wait for the exact right time. If you go for it and miss, that could be the momentum shift your opponent has been waiting for. Oh, man, what a hit. Locked right off the apron. It's like he tapped into some unseen energy source. Well-executed drop kick. Look out, down he goes. And he might not get back up. One thing that nobody will ever be able to take away from Finn Balor, guys, is the fact that he was the first ever Universal Champion. A feat he accomplished in 2016 SummerSlam when he defeated Seth Rollins. He's trying to mangle his face here. Finn Balor, big move coming. There is no denying that Balor oh, almost threw the turnbuckle. This one's over, guys. Putting it all on the line. Coup de grace. But he's running on fumes. He's got him covered. He breaks the pin. Looking for an opening for that finisher, it seems, and that's a smart move. Just hit the finisher, get the win, and get out of there. Inching closer. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. Anytime a superstar sees an opening for their finisher, they got to take it, as Byron was saying. Elongating the match not only gives your opponent an opportunity to get back in it, but you're also running the risk of injury anytime you're in the ring longer than you have to be. Yeah, but sometimes you just enjoy beating somebody up, especially if you're in the ring with somebody like Saxton. He breaks out. He's not done just yet, Michael. 
twice as nice. Gosh, the same move over and over. This is relentless. Tag. That's a great example of teamwork right there. Finn Balor tags in. Teamwork at its best. Oh, he turns it around. Delivering the knee. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Finn Balor is definitely fading a little here. He's got to remember he has two partners ready to enter the fray here. Consider me oh, one. There it is. Just, just put the exclamation point on this match. Yeah. He's back in control here. Seems to me, guys, like we're just moments away from seeing the finish. Oh, look. Bobby Fish is in position. Oh, oh no. Here's his moment, Michael. Finn Balor The finisher could absolutely end this match, Michael, as you were saying, but it's not a guarantee. Sometimes it takes two or even three to get the job done, and even then, it's not a sure bet. A la Randy Savage versus the Ultimate Warrior at WrestleMania 7. That's my favorite match of all time. Randy Savage landed an amazing five top rope elbow drop, but was still unable to put Warrior away. And you know what? He probably could have hit him with five more. There was just no stopping the Warrior on that one. There he goes again. And once again, we see a return to the specific maneuver. Hey, whatever works. We may have discovered his favorite move. to be in here, guys. He's got to do something to get back in this thing. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. Guys, it's imperative he gets back in the ring. Yeah, otherwise he's looking at a countout. What an all-star ensemble in the ring right now. Six of WWE's most successful competitors for sure. In up the tag. Right, here we go. What an inverted DDT. Scoop slam. Big spot in the match here. He's stumbling some now. Rather than continuing to absorb any more punishment, he might want to tag out here. I'm not at all surprised to see him struggling a bit here. After all, the other team does feature arguably three of WWE's most imposing figures. Drop kick. Beautiful. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Jeff Hardy's not going to finish this. Oh, I think this man means business, but he's got to capitalize now. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. 
Jeff Hardy's not going to finish this. One time bomb! That's what he was looking for, Michael. How is Adam Cole going to remain alive? He'll find a way. Oh, man, he's going off here. I don't know if this is by design or if he just lost his mind. And off the tag is Finn Balor. That's a great example of teamwork right there. The Irishman has his Irish up. Finn Balor is in position. Oh, 1916. This is his opportunity to win this thing. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. Oh, boy, he is rolling. Balor looking to end it. But I don't know how much gas for the pin and the win! Yes! I wouldn't have been surprised if that was it. Wow, what a match. Momentum's firmly in his corner now. Across the shoulders, up. Look at this. He's going back to an old friend with that one. Across the shoulders, up, and he clearly has confidence in that move. Gets the tag. Flying shoulder block! Look out, he's almost there. And he tags his partner in. The momentum has certainly shifted here, Michael. Wow, Jeff Hardy. Gets the reversal. Incredible striking. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, O'Reilly set it up. Uh oh. And O'Reilly makes him pay in the worst way. What a shot. Can he finish him off here? So precise. Kyle O'Reilly set it up. And O'Reilly makes him pay in the worst way. What a shot. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Oh, somehow he breaks it. He may have broken free Cole, but I assure you the damage has already been done. Got him good with the elbow there. is in position. One time bomb! To think, I almost wrote him off earlier. As Jeff Hardy produced an end... What a six-man tag match. Hard to imagine, but that match was even better than advertised. Here's another look at that history-making encounter. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. From the opening bell, this match was won for the ages. I'm almost speechless. Almost. Here are your winners. The phenomenal AJ Styles, Jeff Hardy, and the Demon King, Finn Balor. That's a win you remember for a long time. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. I couldn't agree more. What an amazing contest that was.